Do you want to hear a fantastic story about a Canadian F-104 pilot? Yes, I do. <laughs> okay, it's a quick story, Chris. You're going to like this. Well, uh, the Canadian Armed Forces, we used to have a base in, uh, in West Germany during the Cold War, and they had a, uh, uh, a 104 Starfighter Squadron base there. And uh, what happened was one of the F-104, CF-104, because Canadian designation, he, uh, that plane, you could not beat it for low-level flight because it had such stubby wings, and they were razor sharp. If you touch them, they will cut hand open. Um, they were so small, that thing could hit Mach 2 at sea level. It was, they called it a missile with a man in it. Uh-huh. And anyway, this pilot, he was uh, doing a low-level pass, and he was coming up to the mess hall. The truck that delivers the bread to the mess hall just pulled up, and the driver just got out and walked into the mess hall, the F-104 pilot, he started losing altitude, so he put the throttle quadrant right up to the firewall, and his fingers were sticking out, and he hit the jettison tip tank button. <laughs> and so he put that thing into full afterburner. The, the tip tanks came off and went spinning and hit the bread truck, and it blew up big fire. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> and he climbed out of there vertically, and uh, that... that that milk, that bread truck driver was the luckiest guy in the world that day because if he would have got there half a second uh, later, he would have been toast. No, I thought you were going to say he toasted <laughs> all the bread. He toasted, he all, toasted the bread. all the bread. Yeah. yeah. Well, that'd be so a cool trip. That, that was a true story that happened over there years ago. But a uh, uh, real pleasure listening to your show, and uh, I really love what your guest has to say. It's very interesting. Thanks, Maltese Mutt. By the way, uh, Pete's shirt has a, it looks like a P-51 Mustang on your yes, shirt. Yes, I do. Is that what uh, that is? Reno yeah. Air Races. I've, I've just come back from the Reno Air Races. Um, uh, F8, I was, F-8 Bearcat. F-8 Bearcat for Reno Air Races. You got it. I, I, every year, every year. It's a great airplane. And, you can't uh, they, beat the radials. Yep, cannot beat the radials. No way. Yeah. Thanks well, a lot, man. Appreciate nice it. Talking to you all. Have a good day and a good Labor Day weekend. God bless. <laughs> See the you radials, soon. Uh, the radials are, is the yeah. engine, right? Is yes, the, yes, yeah, it, right. it, it, yes. It's not in line. It's actually uh, the pistons are on the outside. It's real powerful. You Wasn't know, the, there an engine where the whole thing rotated? Or there something? was. Yeah. I, I think it fell off. I don't yeah, know. it fell off. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm growing up on Long Island. There's a lot of aviation on Long oh, Island. Yeah, Grumman. Yeah, it's yeah. It's, uh, Grumman. Uh, most of my family worked at Grumman. Fairchild Republic was sure. out there. Uh, you know, I was always a fan of the products that came out of there as well, the planes that came out of there, especially the World War II airplanes. But folks want to ask you about roller coasters. Sure. So uh, let's say hello to uh, Time Bandit, who is in Illinois. Any good amusement parks in Illinois? Oh, there's a bunch of them, actually. There's uh, Any six major fl- top 12? Six, uh, six Flags, Great America is there. It's a great one. Hey, Time Bandit. Yes, sir. Say hello actually, to Pete Trabuco. Uh, Hello, Pete. Hey, how nice you doing? You. Good. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing fine. I'm just enjoying myself running down the road here, coming <laughs> back to catch one. Well, keep keep those eyes on the road and keep listening. <laughs> you bet. What did you want to ask, uh, Pete? My, fa- my favorite uh, coaster, actually, it's uh, because of my uh, daughter. Okay. It was down at uh, uh, oh Paramount. Uh, in north of Cincinnati, uh, it's the uh, beast, the old wooden coaster. Oh, there. yes, yes. You're thinking of Kings Island. Yes, Kings Island. Yeah, amazing that place. That coaster is awesome. Oh, yes, Kings and, Island uh, is great. She she was just barely, barely tall enough to get on. She stretched for all she was worth, and they give her a stamp on her hands, and after that, they want to measure her. her. And she yeah. just showed him her fist with the stamp on it. She was cool. Okay. But uh, she goons her brother so bad that he had to ride that coaster because he wouldn't do it. He was six years older than she was. Yeah. And she was my awesome little girl that just loved <laughs> roller coasters. Well, the Beast is is a is a heck of a ride. It's uh, it's twice as long as any other wood coaster out there. And uh, you know, when most coasters are ending up, you're just turning around and coming back. It's just a an amazing ride, and especially at nighttime during uh, the Halloween time, it's pretty scary. Uh, they they really make that ride pretty scary, more scarier than it normally is. It's a great ride and a great memory. It's Thanks. Yes, it's, it's a super coaster, especially when it, you let take that one plunge and head down in. Into the underground. Yeah. Thanks for that time, man. I appreciate it. I want to try to get some other calls in here because a lot of folks want to ask Pete about roller coasters. Crappy phone is on the line (laughs) in Louisiana. Best handle ever, crappy phone. Hey, guys. 
Uh, I used to work down in Seaside, and I, I, I love roller coasters. Yeah. And the one that really sticks out in my mind is Twin Dragon. So. But I had I operated the Ferris wheel, which was just as scary as a roller coaster. I, I've been on that. Mine, I've, <laughs> I've actually ran backwards. <laughs> <laughs> I was freaking everybody out. I was—I didn't know how to balance it right. <laughs> oh, that's good to know. Didn't know how to balance the Ferris wheel. Wouldn't they teach no. you that? No, you have to balance it just right. Uh, it, is this the one in Seaside? Yeah, is this yeah, crappy Seaside phone? Is this the one in? Is this the one in Seaside we're talking about here? Yes, sir. Back in 1977. <laughs> oh my God, I was on that one. <laughs> okay, yeah, folks. Uh, oh, <laughs> if you're in Seaside, you know I was trying to scream. <laughs> yep, that was me. That's why I don't go on. I <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to uh, tell you that story. It's kind of comical, but <laughs> yeah, thanks for that. I had the, I had it. That I had the Ferris wheel that was scarier than a roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. I'm with well, you on that. <laughs> well, I'm glad we could share that. Have a great day. <laughs> you got it. Appreciate the call, Bye. crappy phone. Let's see who else is on the line. Uh, Buzzard, who is in Pennsylvania. Hey, Buzzard, say hello to Pete Trabuco. Hi, I'm doing there, Pete. How you doing, Christine, Mrs. Tate? Hey, how are you, Buzzard? Hey, salutations. <laughs> yeah, yeah. as far as roller coaster, I mean, West Coast out there in California, I heard him mention it, like, you know, Six Flags Magic Mountain. I mean, that's about 80% roller coasters out there. Yes, it actually made my list of top 12 for 12 in the world, and basically it's yeah. a fabulous place. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, they don't, they've got very few rides for the younger kids. I mean, it's basically all roller coasters. And, you know, I got somebody who wants to be on the phone, Christy. You have you know, somebody what? Ready. I got somebody who wants to be on the radio. You know, my granddaughter wants to be on the radio. Oh, let's say hello to your granddaughter. How old is your granddaughter? Yeah, you know, she's 16. Hello, granddaughter. What's hey. your name? Hang on. Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> What's your name, young lady? Tiffany. Who? Tiffany. Tiffany. Oh, Tiffany? okay. Tiffany, that's yep. a good name. Uh, Tiffany, do you like roller coasters, amusement parks? Of course I do. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are there kids who don't, Pete, or most kids like Well, when I was a kid, I didn't. So <laughs> Some of my favorite places. I mean, they got the word amusement right in their name. How many things have that? So where do you go generally? Where does your grandpa take you? Uh, well, this week we took, uh, wait, are you talking about, like, roller coasters? Yeah, like, what or amusement just, parks, roller coasters do you frequent? Uh, he hasn't taken me to any yet. <gasps> what? Buzzard. Buzzard, what are you doing over there? <laughs> uh, well, he hasn't taken me to any uh, on the roller coasters or anything like that yet, but mm -hmm. I want to get him on one. One day. Oh. oh no! Please, <laughs> Buzzard. Uh, look, why not though? Because Buzzard rides motorcycles. Yeah. I mean, you ride, you, why wouldn't you get on a roller coaster? Oh, well, he took me on a motorcycle over at Sturges. Sure. So tell <laughs> but, him you want to reciprocate, and he want he has to ride on a roller coaster. <laughs> I no? know. I want to take him. I, I want to. I want to take him to Six Flags or Knott's Berry Farm or something like that. Now, Knott's Berry Farm, that's a place. When you go, you let me know, and I'll be your riding partner, okay? <laughs> okay. Is, uh, do you have any more recommendations, Pete? For what part of the country, first of all, do you want to go to, Tiffany? Because um, I know your, your, your grandfather runs all over, so where would you want to go to an amusement park? know where any of the other amusement parks are, but I would love to go to one of the most, like, I'd have to say one of the most scariest one that people would want to go on? Oh, that's a good one. Pete, scary. <laughs> Give us scary. <laughs> well, at, yeah. at the Halloween time, you got Fright Fest all over Six Flags Great Adventure and Six Flags uh, operations all over the country. Uh, they're great to go to. Uh, but the scariest, if you really want to go, I, again, th uh, I, would, I would say that on the top of my list is definitely going to be Cedar Point in Sandusky, Ohio. You should get there. It's, uh, it's a, a great place. It's right between uh, Cleveland and Toledo, Ohio, right on the water there on a peninsula. It's a great place to go. Uh, also, if you ever want to go overseas, Alton Towers in the United Kingdom is a, an amazing place. It's in Staffordshire. And uh, 
Talk about rides that are real fun to ride. That's one that I, I, I highly re- recommend. It's called the Nemesis, and you'll love it if you ever get a chance to go there. Okay. Uh, it's probably some reason why Buzzer can't go to, to England. They probably have his picture up. <laughs> At the airport, won't allow him in the country. Something tells me, but uh, oh, t- we want to we want to hear about this when you do it, though. Okay, <laughs> definitely. Okay. Good to talk to you, Tiffany. You too. Appreciate yeah. appreciate it, and uh, stick Buzzard back on the phone for a minute, if you would. Grandpa okay, Buzzard. Here you go. Grandpa Buzzard. <laughs> Hello, Chris. How many grandkids do you have again? I forget. Oh God, she wants to heal. Thirteen. Thirteen. Wow. Wow. Jeez, well, you got a lot of right. roller coaster riding to do. Because once you do it for <laughs> nah, one, yeah. it's going to be like. <laughs> nah, yeah, I, I don't do amusement parks. We amusement parks don't get along. Remember I told you what happened last time I went to one, Chris? Uh, remind me what happened. Cool. Right. I got stuck on top of the roller coaster and got attacked by seagulls. I had a gunfight. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a true speed? Pete, have you ever heard about this? someone getting stuck no, on top uh, of a roller coaster? I've never had that happen. I, I know they, they sometimes hit you as you're going from zero to 100 miles an hour, like Fabian. Right. You remember uh, that famous <laughs> picture of that guy, the male Oh, model? Fabio. It was Fabio. Fabio. That's what it was. Fabio yeah. got hit in the face well, with, I, a, with a bird. Well, I, I, was, I was at a slight, you know, uh, disposition situation at that time. In other words, you I were know. in an altered state. Yes. <laughs> right. He's speaking yeah, between I, the I, lines because his granddaughter's in the truck. Yeah, they, they got me on this stupid... Big old fence wheel. We got me up the top. The thing got stuck up there. Next thing I know, I've been attacked by seagulls. We had a gunfight up there in the road, up there in the Ferris wheel. <laughs> oh, that'll get you welcome back to any amusement park. Well, they they like French fries. You probably had French fries with you when you were up there. I you know, I don't remember what I had. Like I said, I, 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 stay away from me, you damn bird. <laughs> oh That's funny. God. It's like bird on bird crime. <laughs> Seagull attacking buzzard a buzzard. Against, yeah, I know. I know. Thanks, buzzard. That's funny. <laughs> Have a good you too. You too. Have a great have a weekend. Day. Bye-bye, Buzzard. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Buzzard. Uh, Pete, can you stick around for a few more minutes? Oh, we got course. folks who want to say hello to you oh, as of well. Course. And uh, the number here is 888-876-2336, road dog Sweet Tea, my wife is here with me today, and it's the So Long, or Sum- so long Summer edition of Freewheel. And Pete Trabuco, who is a roller coaster enthusiast expert... Road America's top roller coasters and amusement parks taking your questions at 888-876-2336.